something that I didn't even know you could get and would have pretty much made me not even want to shoot YouTube videos anymore. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here, and I know I've made two videos on grapeseed extract, but I felt absolutely compelled to make another video. This stuff damn near saved my life. Grapeseed extract has tons and tons of benefits. I'm getting a little bit older and I'm kind of getting prone to these cysts, and I've looked it up online. Apparently cysts kind of come a little bit later in life for most people. At one point I had a cyst here for, you know, two, maybe three years. It just, no matter what I did, it wouldn't go away. I would take tons of superfoods, it wouldn't go away. I took a very small amount of grapeseed extract I mean maybe three to four days of grapeseed extract and then this cyst pretty much just went away whenever I get any sort of cyst or any sort of bad acne that just seems very very deep I don't know what to do about it so far I've been taking this grapeseed extract and like clockwork at least for me I can't guarantee for you but at least for me it just gets rid of any sort of cyst you know what I mean I ended up making a video the second video I did recently I got a new cyst I tried the grapeseed extract it went away now I recently came across Across, probably the most grotesque disgusting disease that you could possibly get on your body something that I didn't even know you could get and would have pretty much made me not even want to shoot YouTube videos anymore acne conglabata now this stuff is the worst now if you've ever seen somebody whose face just looks like it's overgrown with acne on like a deep level it's just destroyed it's pretty much acne conglabata this stuff is nasty it's disgusting I have to describe about it because I got rid of it with grapeseed extract so as bad as it gets the grapeseed extract will save us in the end but I need you to understand how bad this acne conglabata is it is the worst so it is multiple cysts super super deep down in your body and they kind of like interconnect and become like one big cyst i don't know if you guys have got cysts pray that you don't get them but when you have one they pretty much just don't go away they kind of get a little bit bigger a little bit smaller maybe you go to the doctor and pull them out but they just absolutely don't go away so not only do you have one but now you have three, and on top of that, they're connected. That's really not even the bad part. It creates this little bubble near the skin that you pretty much just touch. It pretty much releases this liquid. How I found out it was acne conglobata is because this liquid smells. I googled acne that smells I kind of went down the list and I pretty much guarantee this stuff was acne conglobata basically when they describe the smell it's supposed to smell like sulfur if you go see what sulfur smells like it smells like the worst thing in the world it smells like skunks and rotten eggs so I have these interconnected cysts under my body that create this pool of smelly pus that needs to be drained but it will never be fully drained because it's being supplied from these cysts from underneath oh my gosh was I just completely wrecked with this stuff I actually took a couple of pictures I wish I took a video but basically you pretty much could see the head it was right here and in the picture I, I go and find like where the edge of the cyst is so you I could show you you don't think it's that big but it ends up being like this big like huge almost like a golf ball I'll try to put those pictures on screen you can kind of see how big it was and I pretty much did a Hail Mary because I don't have insurance right now when you go and look up acne conglobata it says very very rare but very very serious you need to see a dermatologist now you do not play this is pretty much the worst kind of acne that you could ever get kind of like this mutated terrible acne right I had taken grapeseed extract the night before so if anything it would have been starting to heal at that point I also had one up here and that one also I got I got away with grapeseed extract so I slowly started taking it I would say about I think it had a lot of inflammation going on so I think the grapeseed extract although it just plows through everything it needed to take time to really break that down and I would say within a week I mean it was almost to nothing and like within two weeks it was to the point where I wasn't even needing to take the grapeseed extract every day eventually it kind of got a little bit smaller and when I knew it was gone gone is when that whole smelly situation was gone it created like a pool of pus that just smelled and even when I was first taking the grapeseed extract even for maybe four or five days it still had that smell it still was that same liquid pus that 
are just nasty, dude, just nasty. The light at the end of the tunnel, if you know somebody who has acne conglobata or you have acne conglobata right now, definitely, definitely try out grapeseed extract. This stuff was a Hail Mary. And I'm not gonna say it's gonna guarantee work for you, but even if it cuts this stuff down 20%, 30%, 50%, oh my gosh, like this is what you need on your side. And this is maybe something you could use alongside maybe some medical treatment if you go do that. For me, I was luckily enough that this saved me, you know, and as far as my dosage, I was taking a high, really, really high dosage because I was really concerned. Um, I think the dosage for grapeseed extract is about 200 to 300 milligrams normally. And I was taking a minimum of 750 milligrams up to maybe two grams fully at the max. And I just want to say, be careful. You can't take it on an empty stomach, maybe two or 300 milligrams. That's it. But to take the higher dosage, you really need to take it with food. But I was just absolutely blown away by this stuff. It absolutely saved my life. I mean, you can see right here, it's pretty much nothing. And I haven't taken almost any grapeseed extract recently. On top of that, one of the days when I was taking tons and tons of grapeseed extract, it's supposed to be really, really good for your skin. And my skin looked probably the best it's looked off of any supplement besides colostrum, which is my favorite supplement out there. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the video. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.